in this a section we'll talk about rh incompatibility in the previous segments we have seen the blood groups a b o blood group system and abo incompatibility in both the situations first situation was when transfusion takes place and the se second situation is from mother to the fetus now we want to discuss rh incompatibility before we take up this uh, part we need to understand what exactly is this rh rh is commonly known as rh factor and the term rh has been given because it was discovered in rhesus monkey so this abbreviation rh is used because it was discovered in rhesus monkey and the abbreviation is rh now this is actually referring to a protein so on the rbc if there is a protein which protein is known as the rh factor is controlled by a gene so there is a gene which produces an antigen and this is represented by capital d so if a person has homozygous condition or heterozygous condition would produce this antigen on the rbc so if a person has this antigen on rbc we will call it positive that means if somebody has blood group o positive what does it indicate it indicates that on the rbc there is no antigen a or b but there is antigen rh so this is present so this is meant by a person who is o positive o negative would mean that the rbc is without any antigen no antigen a and b and no rh and that is why when we were talking about universal donors and recipients o negative is considered as universal donor because it is not bringing antigen a antigen b and it is also not having rh antigen and that is why there is no foreign antigen which is going to come into the body of the recipient and that is why this is the universal donor and recipient would be ab positive so let us see what would be the blood uh, or what all things would be there so if a person is ab positive then what does it mean it means that the rbc has antigen a antigen b and rh that means everything is going to become its own what we call the self so if a blood group is given to this antigen a is already there if b blood group is given antigen b is already there and if positive blood group is coming that means rh is already here so for this person everything coming in or every type of antigen coming in is like its self and that is why there would be no reaction or we can say that this person this is universal donor and this person can receive blood from any blood type so we call it universal recipient so this <coughs> this is associated with plus if rh is present we call it positive if rh is absent we call it negative so if b is present in the form of dominant homozygous dominant or heterozygous then the person would be called rh positive and if this is absent that means the person is having recessive genes then we will call it rh negative majority about 80 to 85 percent people are rh positive now there is one more important thing that we have to remember here is that there is no natural defense against this rh if you are able to recall when we were talking about this antigen a and b we said that if 
a person has an antigen on its uh, RBC, then that person would have an antibody against the foreign antigen. Uh, we'll quickly go over it. If a person has RBC and on the RBC antigen A is present, in the plasma is present anti B. So against antigen A or B, whichever the person is not having, the person has a natural defense. In case of RH, there is no natural defense. And that means naturally there is no anti-RH. There is no anti-RH. Or it is also known as anti-D. So this is not there naturally. It can be developed later on under certain situations. And that is what we are talking about when we come to ABO incompatibility. To understand ABO incompatibility, we are taking a situation where the mother is RH negative and the fetus which is growing in her body is positive. So fetus is RH positive. This is our situation and we will take this same situation for two pregnancies in the same combination. So to understand this, let us first say this is the mother's body and in the mother's body is developing a fetus and the blood group of this fetus is RH positive. Now here we are not worried about whether it is A, B, A, B or O. Our main focus is this RH factor. And we also have talked of that from the mother's side, this is mother's or maternal placenta. And from the fetal side is the fetal placenta. And there is a barrier here, which is known as the placental barrier. So this fetus is growing in the mother's womb. Let us see what is the situation in RBC or on RBC. Mother is having RH negative. That means there is no RH factor on her RBCs. At the same time, we said there is no natural defense. So for this, if we take it in a simpler uh, or other uh, words, for this female, RH antigen is going to be a foreign particle. So she should be having anti-RH ready in her body. But as there is no defense against this antigen, her body is without antigen and without antibody. So here, in this case, in the body of the female, there is no RH and no anti-RH. There is no antibody. Fetal body is having RBC and on this RBC is present the RH factor. And because this antigen is there, fetal body is not going to produce antibodies against it. Now what happens for the nine months of gestation period? There is no mixing of blood. So when the blood is circulating, there is no antibody here. So no antibody. Antibody is not there. So what is actually going through the placenta, no antibody is crossing the placenta because the mother's body is not having the antibody here. But at the time of parturition, when this umbilical cord is cut, at that time, mixing of blood takes place. That means some blood goes into the fetal, mother's blood goes into the fetal body and fetal blood comes into the mother's body. So now what has entered mother's body are the RBC of the fetus. And what are they bringing? They are bringing RH. So now the mother's body prepares anti-RH. And this anti-RH starts moving to the fetal body. But quick recap of what has happened initially mother's blood was having O 
or whichever blood group but negative rh negative that means on the rbc there is no rh factor and as this antigen is without any natural defense her body is also without antibody or anti rh what is in the body of the fetus the fetus is having rh positive blood group so on the rbc is present rh factor but because rh uh, protein is present or rh factor is present there is no antibody so 9 months of gestation when there is no mixing of blood there is nothing which is going into the fetal body from the mother's body what can go from mother to fetus is an antibody and that too if it is igg type here mother's body is not having any antibody so there is no risk of anything going into the fetal body but now at the time of parturition when the umbilical cord gets cut that is the time when mixing of blood takes place that means some maternal blood goes into the fetal body and some fetal blood comes into the mother's body mother's blood going into fetus is not going to cause any harm because there is no antigen no antibody but when fetal blood comes into the mother's blood what is this blood bringing it is bringing rbc with rh against which the mother's body starts preparing anti rh and now the blood with anti rh starts going into the fetal body but because this is happening for a very very short period of time just at the time of parturition few antibodies have entered the fetus and that would result into some kind of reaction though it is not going to be life threatening but the reaction would take place because this rh antigen antibody reactions are more severe as compared to antigen a and b so when this mixing takes place what is going to happen in the fetus say some rbcs would get destroyed and because of this the fetus would have anemia and jaundice this is when first pregnancy is there now if the female the same mother conceives the second time and the same combination is again seen that means this is the first pregnancy that we are talking about this is the second pregnancy this is the first pregnancy so now same situation mother's body which is rh negative and the fetus growing in the mother's body now what has changed the thing that has changed is mother's rbc is again without rh antigen but now she has anti rh ready in her body so she has anti rh again let us talk about this connection this is the maternal placenta and this is the fetal part and the barrier now the change from the first situation is only in the antibody rbcs are same in whatever now situation we take or whichever situation we take but here anti rh is now present in the body and this anti rh is igg type of antibody so this is important anti rh is igg type of antibody and we know that this crosses the placental barrier so when the pregnancy begins as soon as the, the female conceives the blood circulation takes place but igg antibody that is anti rh crosses the placenta and enters anti rh enters the body of the fetus now what is in the fetal blood rbc with rh because the fetus is rh positive and this would result in reaction so as soon as rbc is formed the anti rh coming from the mother's body would start destroying this 
and as we said the reaction of RH and anti-RH are very severe this would result in premature death of this fetus and that condition is known as erythroblastosis fetalis so this situation would lead to erythroblastosis fetalis and the problem arises only in this situation when the mother is negative and the fetus which is growing in its body is positive and the problem is in the first case during that parturition period when the umbilical cord was cut there was mixing of blood and some RH containing RBCs entered into mother's body and she prepared anti-RH against it. Now next time or consecutive uh, pregnancies she has anti-RH ready in her body and anti-RH is IgG type of antibody which can cross the placental barrier. So this, uh, this anti-RH crosses, goes into the fetus, starts reacting with the antigen which is present in the RBC of the fetus and destroying it. And this condition results into death of the fetus. And as it is dying in an early stage due to RBC rupturing, this condition is known as erythroblastosis fetalis. If the mother or they know about this kind of complication, nowadays there is an anti-RH ready. So now if uh, the person knows about it and wants to prevent it, there is anti-RH which is known as anti-D because antigen is also D. So the antibody is known as anti-D. Commercially, it is sold by the name of RHO, R, R -H -O -G -U -M. this is the commercial name. Now how this name RH for RH factor, O is for absence and GUM is the commercial term or the term which is based on the pharmaceutical company and the code words which are used to obtain this antibody. So this is the commercial one which would be given and this must be given as soon as the parturition takes place. That means as soon as antigen, anti-RH of the fetus enters into the mother's blood, this anti-D should be given. This anti-D would destroy this antigen. And in consecutive pregnancies, then the situation is again going to be same. If you have destroyed the antigen by taking this antibody, then she would not prepare anti-RH. And if she doesn't prepare anti-RH, it is not going to cross the placental barrier. And in the second or consecutive pregnancies, this kind of complications would not arise. So whenever we use the word RH incompatibility, the conditions that we have to remember. The problems occur when mother is RH negative and fetus is RH positive. If both are positive, both are negative or if the reverse situation is there, the problem doesn't occur. First pregnancy or the first baby which is born would be born with same kind of problems, milder maybe, anemia and jaundice. But in consecutive pregnancies, if there is no anti-D or antibody taken, then this fetus, the second and the consecutive ones, they would die at an early age. It can lead to abortions also, stillbirths also, but the survival of this fetus is going to be almost uh, impossible because of this complication. The, this is the latest thing. We, uh, we have this available in the market, but only thing is people should know it that the complication is because of RH incompatibility. One more thing which is very, very important is that anti-RH is IgG type of antibody. And IgG are the only antibodies which can cross placental barrier. We have talked about this in ABO also. If mother is O blood group, then the antibodies which she produces, anti-A and anti-B, they are also 
IgG type. So, one more uh, quick thing which we have to remember from the blood group part is mother of O blood group would produce anti A and anti B. These are the antibodies. And these antibodies, that means these two, are IgG type. This is situation one and this is seen only in people who have blood group O. And because we are talking of incompatibility with mother and the fetus, here we are talking of the female. The second thing is that anti-RH, which is also written as anti-D, is also IgG type of antibody. One more uh, word or one more term which we need to know that anti A and B are called cold antibodies whereas anti RH is known as warm antibody and this term or these terms are given to them because they work or their reactions are more in case of A and B at colder temperature. That's why they are called cold antibodies. And here the reaction is better or uh, more when their temperature is slightly warmer. So this helps us to understand what exactly is Rh incompatible.